We're about to get started with this goodness. It's a good night for seafood. It's a lot of stuff going on right here. Just wanted to give you guys a five minute preview. We're gonna get started about seven o'clock. We're gonna wait on some people to come in the group. Hey Rosie, hey Rakia and Dot, Vanessa, hey Siobhan, y'all see that water going? Is it Shaquinta? Hello. How are you? Hey, Tamika. Hey, Monique. Hey, Shalita. Y'all, we are going to have so much fun. I have been starving myself literally all day just trying to make sure that I don't eat too much today. I'm ready to eat this seafood stuff. So, it's going to be nice. I'm going to give you guys um, clams. Mussels, andouille sausage, crab legs, shrimp, breads, corn, veggies, seasoned cubes. We're going to have a nice time. And I'm also going to do a Chardonnay cream sauce. And I've already got the Chardonnay ready. Hey, Natasha, Celeste, and Candice. We'll give it about a minute and a half and then we'll get started. Hey, Laverne. Hey, Dr. Pam. <laughs> hey, Tasha, I got that. I got my water going for the grits. We got about 45 seconds and then we'll get started. All right, it's seven o'clock. Y'all ready? Thanks, Laverne.
Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is zoom in on our pot. We got one stick of Land Lakes unsalted butter. adding in all of the crab legs. The clams, the mussels, and the andouille sausage. We'll just take a little bit of shrimp and onions. I'll go ahead and tell you guys now there will be no real seasonings in this um, boil. There will be no crab boil bags or any of that stuff. Simply because we're going to make our own sauce. So we'll just sprinkle just a little bit of the Tony Creole seasoning. A little bit of Old Bay. A little bit of garlic and herb. A little bit of parsley. We're only going to do a pinch of crushed red pepper. We don't need much. So that's going and close that back up and I bring the skillet out so you can see it or the pot rather this is going to be for our grits the water has been boiling for quite some time this is heavy whipping cream The purpose of the heavy whipping cream is so that your grits don't clump. To make sure you stir before you put back on the stove. I'm going to cut the skillet down to two. And that's that. Now we'll work on our corn, our veggies, and our brats. Put that skillet up on high. Just want to make sure you get the skillet nice and coated. Does anybody have any questions? You can ask me now. Paris Ricky, you can find those at like Sam's, Costco. Okay, so that's going. Now, we'll get started on our um, Chardonnay cream sauce. So, we're going to use Chardonnay. Somebody 
everybody's going to be drunk in love. <laughs> Heavy whipping cream. I love Rachel Ray's pots. So you can use a uh, Brats. I am trying to get you drunk tonight. Hi. hi. Y'all see my wife is in the room. A hint of parsley. We got some parmesan. You got some bacon pieces. We're going to use just a little bit of Mediterranean salt. We want to give it just a little bit of lemon zest. So we got some natural uh, California lemon peel. I will call you when I'm done, babe. Toya seems to think that UFC fighting is a little bit more important than her wife's cooking show. I let her have that pass because I like it too. So, while that's going, we'll put a little bit of garlic and herb seasoning in the cream sauce and in our veggies. You guys can't see me, but I'm just um, stirring the grits. I think this is one of the meals that um, we had voted on a 30 minute or less. So we're going to classify this as a 30 minute or less meal. And I really can't see your questions tonight. Because I got a lot of things going, but if you guys want to wait until the end, I'll stay on a few minutes and we'll go over Q&A. I wish y'all could smell it. Oh my God. Amazing. Let's take a look at our pot. Yeah. 
So we're going to go ahead and turn our Chardonnay cream sauce up just a bit. Can y'all see these grits? I'm going to add a little bit more uh, whipping cream to them. Because they get kind of thick. And that is something we don't want. As of right now, they're nice and creamy. And just a little bit more. guarantee you this is done so what I want to do is take and just get just a corner for our um, shrimp seasoning we'll add the rest of our parmesan to the chardonnay sauce Some Velveeta. not least in the Chardonnay sauce we're doing some season cubes we'll put a couple of them I'm just trying to use this sauce taste Martin <laughs> and then we'll put the rest of our season cubes in our boil what are you doing Tell them how they can't have none of their sauce because it's alcohol in. Mm -hmm. I can, um, 
you might can use that sauce for that uh, spicy uh, that, that Cajun skin. I'm not making this. <laughs> I'm not making this. Mm -hmm. Can y'all see that? I'll zoom in on it for you. Okay, y'all can stay on that. I'm gonna go ahead and start plating. anybody has any questions remember I'll be stopping after I plate and I'll be answering your questions
I'm going to work on. Our clams kind of went all the way to the bottom. That's all right, though. Okay, y'all, what y'all doing? I'm going to take it over here to the table. Those are your shrimp and grits and your sausage, your Chardonnay cream sauce, and you got your mussels, your clams, your andouille sausage, your corn, and your crab legs. Now, I'm sure somebody had... Um, some questions. Somebody was asking me something about the seasonings, but I was trying to cook so much stuff at one time that I didn't want to burn anything. So I just focused on getting everything hot and done and ready to go. Yes, Sue, so, um, when I do the Haitian soup, I use the uh, liquid base. Yes, that is true that um, when you cook with wine, as it cooks, the wine, the, the contents, the stronger contents, it kind of just leaves. You ready? Yep. Oh, okay, because you weren't saying anything. You didn't get a fork? I got a fork, too. Oh, okay. Well, I'm going to need the spoon for the grits. When I don't say nothing, that means it's good, y'all. The sauce 
can also be paired with like chicken, uh, salmon. So yeah, I would get you some kind of container and just um, hold it whenever, you know, and just refrigerate it if you know it's going to be sometime in the near soon future. And if it's going to be a while, I would freeze it. Anybody else have any questions? If not, we'll log off. And I'm going to eat with my family. And I will see you guys later. Thanks for tuning in. Be sure to share it with your friends and family. Let them see what you have. Hey, Brenna. Talk to you guys later.